In today's video, I will teach you how to improve a blurry photo using Photo Peak. Let's get started. Start by launching Photo Peak and open your image by selecting File, then Open, then choose the blurry photo that you want to improve. To preserve the original image, create a duplicate of the photo by right-clicking on the layer in the Layers panel and selecting Duplicate Layer or simply press Ctrl J. Now we're going to apply the Sharpen filter. Simply go to Filter, Sharpen, then Sharpen. This will apply a general sharpening effect to the entire image. If the effect isn't strong enough, you can repeat the process or simply go to Filter, Sharpen, then Smart Sharpen for more control over the sharpening intensity. Now we're going to use the High Pass filter for fine tuning. Start by selecting the duplicated layer. Then go to Filter, Other, then High Pass. The image will turn gray with only the edges of the object showing up. Now set the radius to around 1 to 2 pixels for mild sharpening or higher for stronger effects depending on the level of blurriness. Now click OK to apply the filter. Now we're going to change the blending mode. With the High Pass filter applied, go to the Blending Mode drop-down menu in the Layers panel. Then change the blending mode of the layer to Overlay or Hard Light to bring out the sharpening effect. The edges in your image should now appear sharper. Now we're going to adjust the layer opacity. If the sharpening effect is too strong, you can reduce the opacity of the layer in the Layers panel to tone it down. Simply adjust the opacity to a level where the image looks natural and less blurry. For further enhancements, you can go to Image, Adjustments, then Brightness and Contrast, or Levels to improve the overall clarity and detail of the photo. And once you're satisfied with the result, simply go to File, then Export As, then choose the desired file format such as JPEG or PNG. Then click Save to download the enhanced photo. Using these steps, you can significantly improve the sharpness and clarity of a blurry photo in Photo P. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.